With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hi everyone, so we are given with a question which says, Particle 1 experiences a perfectly elastic collision with a stationary particle 2. We need to determine the mass ratios if first is uh, after head-on collision the particle flies apart in opposite direction with equal velocity so this is the first part of the question second part uh, the particle flies apart asymmet uh, symmetrically relative to the initial position in the direction and the direction of particle uh, with the angle of divergence as theta equals to 60 degree so let's take the first part of the question and let's try to visualize this condition over here so uh, we have depicted two conditions before and after so before uh, mass m1 is moving with velocity u1 and m2 was at rest after collision both are moving uh, apart with equal velocities v as we can see over here after collision so we can say by conservation of momentum as there is no external force along uh, the xx uh, along x direction so we can write by conservation of linear momentum we can say we can write uh, m1 u1 that is momentum before collision will be equals to momentum after collision and after collision as we can see both the velocities direction are opposite so we can write it as m2 minus of m1 into v all right so let's say uh, from here we can uh, let's say this is our equation number one also uh, we uh, we can write uh, the kinetic energy before by conservation of kinetic energy we can write uh, kinetic energy before collision we can say by conservation of kinetic energy so kinetic energy before collision was m1 uh, u1 square and that would be equals to m1 plus m2 uh, here it can be written as half of v square as we can see both the uh, particles are moving with the same velocities so uh, let's say this is our equation number two and we are interested in finding the ratios of masses so we can say uh, we can substitute the value of uh, u1 from equation one so we can write from one and two from equation one and two we can write the value of u1 can be written as half m1 uh, u1 can be written as m2 minus m1 by m1 into v so this is what the uh, value we are getting for uh, u1 so the square and that is equals to m1 plus m2 and here it can be written as half v square half and half will get cancelled from both sides what we are left with is uh, this one m m1 and m1 will also get cancelled out so we are left with m2 minus m1 square v square divided by m1 and that is equals to uh, m1 plus m2 into v square all right so from here we can see value of v square v square will also get cancelled out so we are left with uh, m2 square minus of 2 m2 m1 plus of m1 square and that is equals to m1 square plus m1 m2 all right from here we can see m1 square and m1 square will get cancelled out and what we are left with is uh, m2 square will be equals to 3 m1 m2 and 1 m2 m2 will also get cancelled out therefore we can say the ratio of m2 by m1 will be equals to 3 all right so this is the uh, first uh, part of the question or or we can say this way also m1 by m2 will be equals to 1 by 3 so this is the uh, ratio of mass we are getting for the first case now let's move on to the second part of the question in the second part uh, it says uh, after collision the particle move uh, with an angle basically an angle of divergence that is at 60 degrees so we can say this is the case over here this is the second part of the question so now here we can see again we can uh, apply the conservation of momentum over here so we can say here we have to be careful that we have to apply moment of uh, momentum conservation in two directions that is horizontal and vertical if you resolve the component of velocity so we can say a vertical component for this velocity v1 will be v1 cos uh, 
we can say this since it's been given that uh, the particle flies apart symmetrically so we can say this angle uh, half the angle will become 30 degrees so this can be written as cos 30 v1 cos 30 and this will become v1 of sin 30 and similarly if we resolve this component so we can get uh, this will be nothing but it can be written as v2 cos 30 and here it can be written as v, uh, v2 sin 30 all right so from here we can write applying conservation of momentum conservation of linear momentum along horizontal direction all right so we can say along horizontal initially uh, the momentum with m1 is m1 u1 and with m2 it is zero so that would be equals to the final momentum that we can write it as m1 v1 cos 30 plus of m2 v2 cos 30 let's say this is our equation number one all right so this is for horizontal for vertical similarly we can write for vertical as before collision there is no uh, momentum so we can write zero will be equals to and both are in opposite direction so we can write m1 v1 sin 30 will uh, minus of m2 v2 sin 30 all right or this can be written as m1 v1 equals to m2 v2 all right let's say this is our equation number two so now we can uh, conserve the kinetic energy as well and we can write uh, by conservation of kinetic energy that is for elastic collision we know kinetic energy before collision will be equals to kinetic energy after collision so we can write before collision kinetic energy was m half m1 u1 square and that is equal to half m1 v1 square plus of half m2 v2 square all right so from here uh, we can say uh, half of will get cancelled from both sides so we are left with half m u1 square is equal uh, m1 u1 square is equals to m1 v1 square plus of uh, m2 v2 square all right so this is our equation number three so from one and two equation we can say uh, from equation one and two all right so from one and two we can write uh, instead of m1 uh, v1 we can substitute uh, the value so this can be written as cos 30 can be taken out as common m1 u1 is equals to cos of 30 and what we are left with inside is uh, m1 v1 plus m2 v2 so we can write m1 v1 instead of m2 v2 we can write it as m1 v1 only so from here we can say the value of m1 u1 will be nothing but 2 m v1 cos 30 and from here m1 m1 will get cancelled out so we are left with u1 is equals to 2 v1 cos 30 all right so let's say this is our equation number four using equation two three and four we can get so from equation two three and four what we will do is uh, we will substitute the value of u1 in three and uh, we can write therefore m1 u1 can be written as this can be written uh, 4 v1 square cos square 30 and that would be equals to m1 v1 square plus of m2 instead of v2 we can write from here we can calculate the value of v2 as m1 v1 divided by m2 m1 v1 divided by m2 all right so this is what uh, the value of v2 is from 2 so we can get the value from solving here we can say m v1 square from both sides can be uh, cancelled out so we are left with 4 cos square 30 and that is equals to uh, 1 plus of so here we are left with m1 by m2 all right so from here therefore uh, the value of m1 by m2 which we are interested in finding will be nothing but it can be written as 4 cos square 30 minus of 1 and the value of cos 30 if we substitute it over here cos 30 is root 3 by 2 it will become uh, 3 by 4 minus 1 so this value get cancelled out uh, this is so the answer comes out to be 2 so the ratio of m1 by m2 is 2 for the second part of the question so i hope you have understood the concept well and thank you for watching for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level 
Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.